hello guys my hello back in with another new video and today i have a really really powerful uh, pdf library for you okay that is totally written in typescript and obviously you're gonna use it in any of your web app or anywhere else and it's open source obviously and that means you are getting the mit license so use it anywhere you would like and this is a kind of library that not that only not generates the pdf like uh, generating pdf this is not only for generating pdf but you can have a ui editor as well so that much powerful it is okay like uh, the makers of this have put a really really great effort to make this i can understand okay let me share the website with you this is not a tutorial this me share the website with you and let you give you an overview of it because it's seriously great okay so let's just get started <laughs> So this is PDF me, okay? And obviously you can go to the docs from here. Here you have doc. Here you have API guidelines. Here you have other guides, and you can go to the GitHub repo, and you can contribute to it. At its open source, but we are not talking about that. We are talking about this particular thing, okay? So what are its features? First of all, a fast PDF generator. Okay, so it uh, generates PDF uh, as easy as this. Okay, then you have designer, an easy to use PDF template editor. Now here comes the interesting part. It has a virtual editor, like what virtual editor? Actual editor. Okay, that you can implement to. Uh, edit your PDF templates. Okay, and they have specifically mentioned it over here. The generator library and the UI editor can be used separately. So they are giving you both totally separate in separate ways. Uh, that's how you will be using it. Like whenever you need generator, you will be using only generator that we obviously need. And whenever you want to use the editor, you can use that. Okay, so that's a great thing then what we have then we have uh templates as structured templates as structured json data this is a kind of thing that i really loved because uh i was using uh, some of the react to image react to pdf generators today okay so in some of the methods, I found it really, really complex to generate a particular thing, like a particular output. Okay. So as they are giving it in JSON format, and we all know how to, not all, but we developers, we developers usually know how to write JSON formats. And because JSON format is so much easier to write, right? So as you can see, this is the JSON format they have written over here. Okay. To make this uh, resume something. Okay. And you can have the, uh, and uh, you can see it is the only the, uh, that they, they have used the generator PDF part. Okay. And this is the template portion of it. Okay. Like UI editor portion of it here you can see i can edit stops and suppose i'm not clicking anywhere see name photo i can reposition them as well like drag and drop them that's also a great thing if i click on name i can choose the name okay uh suppose hello world only you know this thing and as you can see it's updating right name is wait name 
it's updating on the go it name mehul what the like whatever so as you can see here and i can choose the color from it like they have used a really great color picker over here as well so that's really kind of them wait yeah it's a little glitchy i think either it's a little glitchy or my chrome is lagging a lot actually my chrome is lagging a lot because i am i have opened too many tabs to be honest and if i click on it i can yeah i can actually choose my own photo from here that's really great so let's just choose a photo quickly wait 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 i have to go here then choose this and open yeah as you can see i have selected it and yeah it's resizable as well wow it's really great i'm loving it and here you can see i can easily like create all of those things right and is it the qr you can create qr as well yes you can create qr as well whatever so you are getting the json data over here that you can easily use in your pdf generator that's one thing and rather than that if you want to use this particular editor you can use that as well okay and here you can see uh, the same pdf in uh, in here okay this is this is the form you can i think actually yeah you can edit it from here as well okay and click on generate pdf to get the pdf and i will just be interested only in viewer so yeah you have viewer so actually you have everything over here like seriously everything you have viewer for viewer we need libraries you got this is uh, you got covered over there as well you got generator so you can generate pdfs you got editor ui editor so you uh, you can edit stuffs and if you want to give people access to edit stuff and you have forms format like if you don't like this kind of editor you have form as well so you can simply click on it and write anything to be honest right wait yeah all of those things can be done and click on generate pdf to generate pdf that's about it i'm really loving this library so what i will do i will just start it because i'm really loving it okay so that's basically about it that's basically about this website and you can simply go to its playground that is uh, that will open a code sandbox for you and here you can easily see uh, how it is used in a code okay how they have used uh, like here you can have like all of the examples you have designer you have a uh, form and viewer you have navigations and all of the other formats and how you can like uh, properly generate the stuffs over here and uh, i don't know if you notice this thing or not i think you will notice this thing here better you have scale seriously you have scale like बहुत बहुत अच्छे अच्छे एडिटर में भी ये स्केल नहीं देते हैं मेनी ऑफ द ऑनलाइन पीडीएफ एडिटर डजेंट गिव यू स्केल बट हियर यू हैव इट आई एम रियली लविंग द फीचर्स ओके लाइक सीरियसली सो दैट्स बेसिकली अबाउट इट दैट्स बेसिकली अबाउट दिस पीडीएफ डॉट मी नॉट डॉट मी पीडीएफ मी डॉट कॉम आई एम लविंग इट and we are actually going to use it for our like upcoming projects because we need it and that's why i have discovered uh, like it like uh, gone through all many of the websites and find it out so yeah i'm really loving it i'm looking forward to work with it as well so that's it from my side and yeah is it the react based editor you have to keep that in mind and basically it's a react uh, thing and i will be obviously sharing react things because i am totally into react environment right now so that's it for this video 
if you know some of the great libraries like this open source projects like this please do share that with me because it will make my life a lot more easier man so please please okay and if you uh, like this particular video or like my videos in general please do subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up comment down below which portion do you like the most and rather than that share with your friends like bring some reach to my channel please okay so that's it bye for now Thank you.